quick, just gonna show you guys. Um, have a friend of mine that um, he's dealing with, as you can see, take a look, really bad prolapse, really bad prolapse. So this is typically hormonal. Um, there's nothing that you can really do to like prevent it. Um, some dogs get it, some don't, you know? So what I would typically do is, and, and like I said, I'm just gonna help him out real quick, is you can use sugar water and you can use fendabendazole. So this is strictly, strictly like what I would do for my dogs. I'm not your vet or anything like that. So take it with a grain of salt. And actually she, she did, she was taken and she actually did get some dexamethasone. So she was given dexamethasone so that then it's an injection and it'll help bring down the inflammation and the swelling. So um, that's what, you know, dexamethasone is an anti-inflammatory. So that's what that does. Um, sugar water as well. You can use it for, um, you know, dogs that get prolapses. So we'll spray that on a little bit real quick. You want to keep it clean. So she, she can actually get a little bit of aquaphor too. So we may even put a little bit of aquaphor on it. And then this was something that an old time breeder told me, and, and he's a vet. And he said that uh, fendabendazole that if you give them fendabendazole for seven days or something like that, it'll actually help bring it down. Um, I can't give you the science on it, but it was something that I just used and it seemed to work. So um, fendabendazole, if you can get your dog an injection of dexamethasone, some sugar water, and then aquaphor, keep in just, just put an aquaphor on it, all right? So we're just gonna clean this up real quick and and he's gonna you know take some fendabendazole and um, see if it gets better we'll update you guys and and ideally if if it wasn't so big if it was a little bit smaller uh and and she had gotten one before you uh when it was smaller you could you could push it back in but when it gets so big like this you got to get all that swelling down first and then you could try to push it back in um and usually by the time she comes out of heat it just it all goes right back in anyway right every time she yeah every time she comes into heat she gets it and then it goes right back in okay See, just gonna spray some of the sugar water, and this will just help with the swelling. All it is is brown sugar and um, purified water. You see, I guess it must be feeling good for her because she ain't, <laughs> she ain't, she ain't bothered. So anytime you get a chance, just spray it with some of the sugar water, and then once you let the sugar water run off for a little bit, you could go ahead now. Put some aquaphor on the area. Um, this will just kind of help the irritated skin, keep it hydrated, um, so on and so forth. And just you just want to make sure that you keep this clean and from getting infected. So what I would suggest is you know keep the dog like in a drop cage or something like that, and just keep it extremely clean, extremely clean. That's going to be super important. So anyway, guys, um, we'll probably update you in a couple days. Once we got this swelling down, just to show you guys the results. All right, cool. So real quick, we're gonna try this new tip and trick that um, K9 Royalty showed us. So I'm gonna try it out because I never, never had a prolapse that was this that was this bad before. I mean, it went down significantly, as you guys can see. Went down a whole lot, a whole lot compared to what it was before. So we've been hitting her with the sugar water. Um, she was on. Um, Dexamethasone for a couple days. She's done with the fendabendazole already, a safeguard. So just been hanging her with sugar water and it's been helping the swelling going down. Um, the next thing is this is something that yet again, K9 Royalty showed me, shout out to her on IG. Um, so what we did was we took a tablet of prednisone, we crushed it up, put it in this little container here with some preparation H um, and some lubricant. I have some lubricant over here. So I took some lubricant, took some preparation H and a little bit of prednisone, crushed it all up, put it in a cream like this, made it really fine. So now we're gonna go ahead and try to put this topically. This is something that um, you know she was recommending that her vet does over there. So, hey, you know what? Even though we got it down smaller, we wanna get it down as small as possible so we could pop it back in. So we're just gonna try it out and see what happens. And if it works out well, then you know maybe we'll do an episode of Breeze Hacks on it or something. So all right, so we're gonna go ahead and now take the cream that we've made and go ahead and put it on her. So let's see. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and take it to, to the top like this. Just watch her because I know she's probably not gonna be feeling this. All 
So I would do this like twice a day. Twice a day. Cool, she's good. All right, guys. So after how many days has it been now? Oh, let's say like five, six. Like about five, six days. So the first couple of days, we was just doing the sugar water. And then uh, after that, we started doing how many days? Like, so how many days did you do the the prednisone with the cream? Uh, like three days. Like three days, right? So after about three days, so after the sugar water, and and he had gotten you know the the steroid, the um, uh, given to the dog and stuff like that. The prolapse did go down tremendously. But just to show you guys another update, so after another, how many days was she with the prednisone cream crushed up in the um? And the uh, three to four days the most. Three or four days the most. So another few days, he then gave her that crushed up cream. And I mean, look guys, went completely back in. And now you could definitely breathe this. You could definitely breathe this. And now you said that normally her, her prolapse stays out even throughout when you breed her, right? Yes. Yep. So for it to go down, I mean, look at that guys. That is crazy. So as you can see, so in my opinion, I would put the dog on on all those things. I would, you know, maybe try to put the dog on a steroid if you can. That'll bring the, the swelling down. Sugar water, spray it right on the prolapse. Um, and then the preparation H mixed with the lubrication and the, uh, the prednisone pill. Psh, look what it did. So went right back in and hers was huge. It was like the biggest I've ever seen. So, so to see it this small, after just a few days, under a week, under a week. And she probably, how much longer do you think she would have had it for? Like when she goes through her normal yeah, heat. Through her normal heat. Like, like, when, like basically when she would have came out of heat is when it would have probably. Wow. Started. So she would have had it for like a month. Yeah. Wow. At least. Wow. So there you go, guys. I just wanted to show y'all real quick. So that's the treatment we did and, and it worked. So not your vet or anything like that. But hey, this is what we did. And, you know, you can try to see if it works for you, you know, but in my head, it, in theory, everything makes sense because of what everything does. Everything does, it brings down swelling. It brings down swelling. Some vets may tell you to spay the dog, but in my opinion, I don't think you need to. Um, I've seen plenty of dogs that actually have had prolapses that you can still AI. Like this dog, you could still AI this dog, you know? But if it was me, I would just want to get the swelling down first before you breed her. And then when she comes out of heat, it's going to shrink back down and go inside of her anyway. So I just wanted to show you guys this firsthand. So if you see it, you don't freak out. It looks a lot more uglier than it really is. And this is just what you would call a vaginal prolapse. Now there's another prolapse where they get it in the butt, which is an anal prolapse. Um, that's a completely different story. That's a completely different episode. Just, you just wanna make sure that you keep this clean and from getting infected. So what I would suggest is, you know, keep the dog like in a drop cage or something like that and just keep it extremely clean, extremely clean. That's gonna be super important. Um, hope this information was helpful, hope it was useful, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of British Hacks. Alright guys.